Welcome back to a continuation of the playthrough of Kane's Romero mode. I was, which is what I usually do, I was going to all of these um, kind of uh, base work of moving stuff. I usually do it in my all other mods, I do it between episodes, but uh, it's going to bet it's going to get crazy really fast on the on the mod. Probably I will go outside and we'll have to fight hundred. I don't. I'm going to say hundred. Might be a little, a little bit too much, but I'm going to fight a lot of zombies. So uh, let's keep recording. So for to, for today's episode on this crazy crazy mod, we are going to try to secure our house. So we are in the third floor, I think. Of everything and what I would like to do is go outside and pick up my stuff no, pick up my stuff and making sure that no one reaches these top floors that would be nice we will go so I think we have the the main stairs over here that we can start off by clearing them yep I'm already hearing a lot of them. It's going to be non-stop. Even we are playing the easy day. The day one and day two in this mod or in this proof of concept. It's the easy days. What we are exper experiencing it is the... Um, that is enough. Let's go outside. They, they are breaking everything. What we are experiencing, it's the five times more spawns than comparing with, with vanilla. Or even with some other mods. The mods, they kind of change that. So comparing with vanilla, in the wilderness, these guys are spawning five times more zombies than regular vanilla game come on don't take forever no, lady how you like and you should take your time we are in a in a, in a time crunch but plan your plan things carefully Easy to try to rush to, to try to rush too much the what you want to do. So first off, let's get a nice place where where we can store our stuff. Be clear of the zombies, and then. So look, at, look at the amount of zombies down the road. And this guy takes like... Oof. Already tired. We have already just started the second episode. Okay. We have a couple of minutes. <laughs> Probably not even a couple of minutes. To these stairs. I don't think that I can even complete these stairs. Yep. Let's go. Oops. I'm almost out of the uh, fuel slash ammo. This is a, a pretty Hard corner. Go. You are down. And the officer, well, uh, I have to clear this. Yeah, yeah. If not, the, well, the, eventually all of these get, will get wrecked. But let's do our best. Or at least make it last a little bit longer. I had to jump 
straight into a crawler. Look at this one. Oh, come on. Yep. Pretty much episode number two. Pretty much episode number two. That's here. Clearing. Oh, no. These guys, come on. You will get some shooting in the face. Because it's hard to time them. The correct moment to hit the face. It looks like it's a roaming horde, but it, but it isn't. Just regular zombies. Funny. Have spent a couple of points in shooting some of it. I'm going to use the, the club too much. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm, I'm tempted on using the missile. Some, some of the Romero mods. Uh, what the change is, you get just head headshots, but they kind of take one shot to the head and the other. In this case, no. The, 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 the zombies have the regular hit points, but they can only be damaged in the head. Sometimes you are lucky, you get that. Pistol time. Not, easy. Not, not an easy first day. Oh, really? Let's save some bullets. Stop spawning. Please. Two more. We are done. Tell me that right. one. And two. This will have a decent. Some bullets and hunters. 10% more damage to you. Pretty useless. Okay. okay. Low on health. We were trying my best to make sure that no one falls. Why, why am I still hearing zombies? Who needs roaming hordes of 50 plus zombies when just the 5x spawn? more than enough to keep you occupied. Repair the clip. Let's go. Try it again. I mean, one, okay, just one, just one. Just one very loud lady. That lamp post looked like it was a wolf. Ready, ready. My my days will be spent running away from zombies and trying to get some loot. That's pretty much what will happen now. I think now this one is it's done. I will even close off that. Let's, let's get also these couple of locks here. And I will even close the, the, the room. 
I want also to have some stairs from the outside. Yeah, I'm going to do that in a moment. If you want some some action, go and pick up. Oh, and I, I think I, I forgot to say that in the first episode. Probably I will leave a pinned comment on the first episode. Uh, this mod it's not available on the mod launcher. If you want it, you have to go. I think it's in Discord of um, Darkness Falls. You can get the mod and um, download it and install it. You have to install it manually. I think that one. I think we are okay-ish. Don't think that they can reach the, the second floor. And I want. Where is the the room upstairs? I think that one. The right. The room that we are staying. That one. Oh, it's easier. Let's craft some frames. Get ten. Let's enjoy a little bit of silence. We'll, I might re remove an extra block and close off also this area. Remove it. It will get wrecked. I don't have any illusions about it. It will get wrecked. Oh. I will also close that one off. Where? Up. Still plenty of stuff to, to loot, even on this house. We are going to do that in a moment. But I want the second thing is all of this that we don't need. Get a way in and out of the window. We will have to go outside plenty of times during the night to defend the house. If we are here. Or even run away and if, if it is a roaming horde, attract them somewhere else. I get the frame going. We have a kind of... Uh, Ledge. I remove the ledge. You need to do this kind of work. Nice. What? Repair the Nox. I am enjoying being alone. Oh. I didn't want to craft one, I wanted to. That it's that one and it goes to the, to the back. Uh, let's get it. Here. One. Enough. More in the other. I have more in my inventory. Okay, good enough. Those here. Since I am here, let's remove also this one here. I didn't read anything in this Romero uh, mode again. Uh, com um, uh, how can I say it? In terms of zombie, uh, the zombies sensing the player. If it's the, the default levels or if it's um, harder, if they if, it, if they de detect the player from longer range, I don't know. Let's not break a leg. And E, nice. Upgrade this three box. Yeah, 
second, why not touch? Why not live in the paradise? In the paradise? No, in, in the apocalypse. Why don't live in the apocalypse like you are living in paradise? In, in paradise, you need a, a hatch. I can't die. There it is, nice. And we... I, I am starting to feel a little bit more safe. I, I might even remove these stairs here, but... Slowly. Here. Junk. One of the things that I that I really like in, in, in playing Seven Days to Die, it's, it's that kind of cozy moments that you have while... Um, Spending the night, uh, sorting your stuff, uh, slowly um, having enough items to have a, a secure base and that feeling of being somewhere that the zombies cannot reach you, it's really, really nice. And so in this Romero mode, kind of changes all, all of that very easily. this we'll keep in there that door here okay and that goes to the outside can I craft more yes I can let's craft more wood frames more Empty. I, I don't think that the zombies can access this area, but we can. I will replace the the broken blocks, but these will make sure that hopefully the, the AI won't path thinking that's a good way to, to get in. I think this room here we have checked and we are thirsty, really. Let's just also clear more stairs over here and let's loot the the main floor and then if we want to go up at least for now we will go up from the stairs on the outside <laughs> ladies come on lady there is no one at home go check the neighbor house They love me in here. Okay. Let's keep looting the, the bottom house. The bottom house, the bottom floor. But I don't I don't think that we are missing much. Oh we are ammo pile. Nice. Nice. Close to the other side. Kitchen. Some water, some drink. And I hope we can rely on the trader. To buy and sell. Need the weapons and the bullets. Each roaming horde that I face. I don't have bullets. We are done. We are done or I need to run away. Cannot fight 50 zombies. Each roaming court. I think we... There is no bottom... Uh, no basement. We are done on this house. Good enough. Good enough. Can, I get, can I get some something to like, Let's pick up all of these. I need a, a cooking pot. We don't have a cooking pot. Wing this. Go up, drop everything, and keep looting. Mm, we have one water. No disentry, please. Oh. oh, cooking pot. Nice. So we can recipes. Get the campfire going. Even the cooking pot. Over 
here. Oops. Place to leave it. In pot. There you go. Have a couple of minutes until the end of this episode. So let's need to check the house later on. Got the guy. I wouldn't mind. I, I was hoping for better tools. Let's explore a little bit the town. I want Forge Diamond, perhaps. I want Forge Diamond. Can I search some cars? Let's um, use our low level wisely and enjoy the desert while we can. Because after some levels, it's going to be hard to. Um, Live in the desert. Let's look for in the roads. Nice deck type. All of these. We need pretty much everything, so being fast. Shouldn't we ignore most of being a car? I was hoping for a pickaxe or an axe, that's what I really want. Hmm. Are you loaded? Reloaded? No, you are not. At least we will also explore a little bit. Oh. Magnum Enforcer. Not the best one, but... Usually there are some cars around here, so moving, taking the cars, and even uh, thinking of thinking of um, a place to move. I don't think that house is going to last long. Oh, pickaxe! Like I said, go for the cars, and uh, I. I really, really, really need to up my game on this Romero mode. Oh, nice. Can I craft the, the repair kit? And with the repair kit... Come on, seven seconds. I, I have my sledgehammer in working order. So that's going to be amazing. Amazing, amazing. It's going to be much faster to handle these hordes of zombies. Very nice. Repair, nice. The cars. The cars, it's your salvation. Just on this small trip to the cars, we have a pickaxe. And we have a, a repair kit for our uh, sledgehammer. And it, it, it is kind of a one, one shot, one kill. Comparing with my... Well, if I hit the head. Don't get distracted. So. Little, oh, I'm infected, really? Not an easy mod, really not an easy mod. But if it was easy, it wouldn't be any fun, right? Distance. Okay. And something went over there. Let's not break a leg trying to find honey. Give me one honey. Right now, I need one. There you go. Nice. A little bit lucky. A little bit, a little bit lucky for my taste. We need to. Oh, that one is a nice house to have. Um, a base. One here. Uh, 
I like this deal right here. The range of these guys is all dope. Can you imagine? Well, I know that I am repeating myself, but you can imagine a horde of 50 zombies. And you get stun locked, and then you, you are dead. Searching. Moving and searching. Oh, nice repair kit. Nice, 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 nice. And do I go inside? You can secure that top room over there. You have plenty of stuff. These boxes to search. Sometimes you can find some uh, cement mixers and whatnot over here in these boxes. And vending machine. You have money and you can buy food. Okay. I will be. I will. I will return to this POI. Let's checking the cars. I want to uncover a good part of the map because we will be running a lot. Something that uh, usually don't, does not happen. So you can kind of go to one place and secure that place and work from that place. But uh, with such a big roaming hordes, you will need to move a lot. It's not a good use of your time to keep fighting everything that you see. So learning to know where to go. Nice, nice. A little bit sketchy first day, but it's now. If I don't screw everything up, getting much better. We have an axe, we have a pickaxe, some repair kits, a working steel sledgehammer. That's nice. We have a pass and gas, working stiff tools. That's nice. Plenty of POIs to explore. Oh, and the snake. There is a problem with the snake. If you remember reading the notes, uh, the snakes, I think, as an entity, this is a kind of a more program programming stuff. As an entity, the snake is a zombie. And Kane, to, to create this Romero mode, had to change the hit points of the snake. Because the game thinks the snake is um, it's a zombie. So if uh, just headshots uh, was working, you couldn't kill a snake. The snakes would live forever. Uh, and how did Kane make made it work? The snake has just five hit points. Any hit that you hit the snake, it will do one damage, one just one point of damage. And um, you need to hit the snake five times. That's that's the secret. But you need to hit the snake five times. Up over here. Let's return. Let's return. Not break a leg. Not get infected. But uh, the first half of the second episode, crazy. I was thinking, well, I, I, I won't even last one day. But this, the second part, especially this part of just walking around and seeing what's about. We have plenty of POIs to check. And much better, we have a pickaxe. We have a repaired sledgehammer. And I have also a fire axe. Oh, very nice. Very useful be able to fast, have a fast way to, uh, to get the resources. We have arrived my friends and we are done for this episode, but again this will be non-stop recording, so usually the, the third episode would be early in the morning, in this Romero edition it won't, it will be the night and I will probably, we will probably try to loot during the night. Let's see how that goes. So my friends, I do hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you.